Welcome back to Fat Cat Collections, taking another new Bayo watch. And this is a watch I've reviewed many times in this channel, but in different variations. Um, it's a very popular watch. It's one they keep, uh, I guess, redesigning. And this is the Manta. Now, this is the Red Manta. And I don't know what it is about these red watches. I just love this deep, dark, evil red color is the best way I can describe it. It's like a blood red. And uh, I have to, I would like to always give credit to, um, I always find it, oh, it's one thing for people who love you to support you and, and buy you things. And, and you know, like my, my folks, you know, my birthday comes around, they ask, is there a watch you want? It's hard now because there's so many, I have so many, you know, so I used to be like, don't get me anything. They still get me something. But when strangers are very generous with you, and I have two subscribers that are just are incredible to me, uh, James Perez, and then another subscriber I'll mention in another video, but um, I don't know, because I don't know if he wants me mentioning them, but you know, these guys have like, when I got sick with COVID, like one of these guys like tipped me like a hundred bucks uh, because I was out of work. Um, you know, James has, again, thank you, James. This year, he, he wanted to buy me a Casio, and I think he got a little... Uh, like a G-Shock, and I think he, I'm not sure, he maybe got a little behind on Christmas, but um, he, I just reached out to say, hey man, Merry Christmas, he, and he's like, check your PayPal, he sends me like a hundred something, you know, it's like, go, go buy yourself something, which is awesome, because I did put it towards a python skin jacket from Indonesia, I've been wanting one forever, stay tuned for that, talk about pimp, uh, not, it's not for everybody, right, right, we all are different, we all have our own style, I'm very flashy. But not not all the time. But anyway, so but but my point is, is like just super generous that that these two guys, uh, you know, I don't know, man. I, and James says like he, he, I never expect anything from anybody, and nobody has to. All you guys gotta do is watch. If you like the content, watch. That's how you support the channel. If you make a purchase, you see something that I review, you like, use the affiliate link. It's a free way to support what I do, right? This is a business, right? You're supporting my business. Uh, if you like me, if you don't like, you go to a restaurant, you don't like your food, you don't go back. You don't like my videos, you don't watch, right? But I, I am just blown away with the generosity in, in some of the folks in this world because I'm not that generous, right? I mean, especially with strangers. You know, I live in a little bubble. I, I, I have, you know, my family and that's really it. I mean, uh, and a few good friends. Uh, and most of my friends I've kicked to the curb over the years because I don't, you know, I don't tolerate, um, I don't tolerate flakes, you know. Everything in life that's good requires maintenance and effort. And if you're not willing to put it in, you don't get me, you know. And so, <laughs> digressing. All right, but anyway, point is, James bought me last year uh, my very first Blood Red Invicta Pro Diver. Killer watch. And ever since then, I've just been really drawn to this red color. Whenever New Bayo comes out with something, they always do a red, and it's just a very fun, very dark color. Uh, it's very vampirish, the best way I can describe it. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's a red watch, I get it. We can dumb it down, make it simple, but this is the vibe I get from it. And what I really like about this is that you have this red abalone. So this is the very first red abalone watch um, I've ever owned. Invicta has done that a few times, but I never really was drawn to, uh, to purchasing one, you know, and a lot of times red, you know, it's easier for me as well because I get these for free, right? This is, you know, it's different when you're spending your own money. For me, it's easy for me to request and say, hey, I want the blue, the red, the green, you know what I mean? And they'll get worn and they'll get reviewed and people will see these videos and go to them and buy them. But, you know, I just, I don't know, I'm always drawn towards the colors and I think it's a lot of fun to be able to rock a red leather jacket with your red watch. I like to accessorize, and I know that everybody, like I said, everybody's different. You may not be one of those dudes who, um, you know, is really, you know, into the way you look or really into, you know, enjoying the presentation you're putting out there for others, and that's okay, you know, and that's totally okay. And, and the cool thing about these watches is that even if you don't, like, accessorize with these, you can just still express yourself. You could just be a jeans and a t-shirt guy and maybe, you know, not everybody's going to want to rock a snakeskin jacket, right? Not everybody's going to wear leather pants. Everybody, some guys may want to do that, right? But some people, they don't have the, I guess, the confidence to do that. And that's okay. I'm not trying to insult anybody, say you should be like me, or be yourself always. But what I kind of like about watches is that watches is, a, <clears throat> is an amazing way for a guy who isn't really flashy, who maybe would say, man, I would like to, I would, man, I wish I could pull that off, right? I think a lot of guys have said that. I wish I could pull this off. And you can you can pull off wearing a watch that's extremely loud and out there, 
without having to like, it's, am I making sense? Like you, you can you can really express yourself in kind of a subtle way by wearing a watch, and you can kind of mask that funness under. Hey, I'm a watch. I collect watches. I love different, unique stuff. And I think people are more willing if you care about that, you know. And you you may. People are more willing to. I think. I think a guy can can have more confidence rocking a really loud watch than a really loud leather jacket, right? It's gonna, gonna be a certain type of guy, right? <clears throat> and again, always do what makes you happy. But I, I hope I'm making sense here and how I'm describing that. If you may not be a guy who's like gonna wear like a red leather jacket, but maybe you'll be a guy who can wear a red loud abalone watch. You know what I mean? So it, it gives, I think, a lot of people the ability to express themselves where maybe they don't feel as comfortable doing that in other other thing, other accessories, right? Am I making sense? I hope that made sense. All right, so red abalone, super cool. You have that black bezel on this bad boy. I'm not going to crack open the box. This one here just came with, I just happen to have one of them. Um, click the link in the description. They'll show you a picture of the box. I think this one comes with kind of like a fun kind of aqua color, but a lot of them are pretty much this style right here. Cardboard, basic. Um, I'm just going to remove that from the video. No reason to show you guys that. You can click the link. And we all really care about the watch, right? Uh, so it is on silicone, uh, which is not, you know, the, the cool thing about silicone, you get you get the whole red, like, uh, the whole thing's red, right? We can go throwing this on, like, you know, stainless steel. You, they do some stainless steel red versions, but I think the silicone's pretty cool because it breaks up the, the uh, it breaks up the different, it gives you different textures, right? Sorry. Um, you know, if you were to just have stainless steel, you just have all red stainless steel. And I have other ones like that, still pretty cool, but I do like silicone. On the flip side to that, I just question how long silicone is going to last. And I don't mean to plant that seed in anybody's head, but I have heard many times with many Invictus, I haven't had any issues with Nubeo, but I've heard people having, you know, straps that, that crumble, that, fa that fail, that dry up. And I hope that the silicone lasts a really long time. The downside, and why I don't recommend a lot of times folks buy, uh, I'm just trying to look at this, like if you buy an Invicta, a lot of times those straps are super propri prop <laughs> proprietary. And you know, if it does fail, you're gonna be, you're gonna be hard pressed to find some kind of replacement strap. Nice thing uh, about Invicta that they're, they've been in business a long time, you can probably get a replacement. However, I've heard sometimes they cost as much as the watch. With Nubeo, they do offer a lot of different straps, and I think you're gonna have a better chance of getting a replacement strap for a lot less. I think, I don't know that to be fact, right? Now, in addition, um, a lot of times Nubeo watches actually use a standard lug width. So this does have a really small lug width, but I don't know, but this brace, this strap actually is designed to overlap the lugs a little bit. And so I think if this one did fail, uh, you could find another bracelet, but it's gonna look really funny because you're gonna have something really small between the lugs. You know, that's the only downside to silicone. So, I, and I, I I wish, I, what I would do if I was a watch manufacturer, because there is that doubt, you know, I would really look into isoframe. And I don't know, you know, how they manufacture that, but I have an Aqua Dive watch that's, uh, it's probably 10 years old now, and the strap looks as good as it did the day I got it. Um, and I think isoframe is a different type of material. I don't think it, you're going to have that potential. But I don't know, right? So again, do your research. I wish I could give you, a, you know, 100% guarantees. I just can't on this. But um, nonetheless, you know, if you buy a watch like this, again, I have had mine for several years. I don't have any issues there. But when I do, I will let you know if I do. Uh, the only watch of all the watches I have, even the Invicta, I have one on silicone. People have told me, oh, I would never buy them because they break. I've had my Invicta now for over six years, five or six years, and it looks as good as the day I got it. So um, <clears throat> I just don't know is, is what I'm what, I'm just being upfront with you and being honest with you. So, but if we just put that aside and you're like, fuck it, I don't care, you know, I, I'll take my chances. Killer watch, killer, killer watch. And let's face it, a lot of brands use silicone, not just Nubeo, not just Invicta, but, you know, Richard Mills, all, all different kinds. I believe Richard Mill, all kinds of different brands use silicone. Uh, there must be a reason that they, they use it. It is very comfortable, but again, I find everything comfortable. So, all right, so now putting aside my little gripes about it, and oh, I did fail to mention one thing. What I would do if I was Nubeo, and I'm saying this because they may listen to me every now and then, right? I would make, when you're making a watch, I would make the, a watch like this with a standard 22 millimeter lug width 
or 24. You know, anywhere from 20 to 24 is pretty standard. 26, you're starting to push it. You can still do it. You can still fire replacement straps. But I would make something like this. Um, you could have the strap overlap the lugs or overlap the stainless to look like it's carved out like this. But just have it overlap. And what I mean by that, this is a perfect example by Nubeo. They have a standard lug width underneath. But when you look at the top of the strap, it's got these kind of like, we'll just call them fingers. That makes it look like that this case is notched in three spots and the strap is connected on the inside. It's not, it's just overlapping. So good news with this model, if this ever fails, you could very easily find another strap for this. That's gonna fit the watch. You, you're not gonna have this overlap right here, but it's gonna look very similar. Whereas this, you know, you are limited to a very teeny lug width there. But again, I'm just, I hate, I hate mentioning that, but I wanna be honest with everybody about that. Uh, just because I know it's something that does that people who are watch collectors think about, right? All right, so let's get to the spe specifications. Good job, Nubeo. Meet the Manta's newest edition, right here, right, right out front. NH35 automatic movement. That's what I'm talking about. This is a big checkbox that anybody who watches my videos or other people's videos want to know what the movement is. <clears throat> no longer does this particular one say, oh, they say it in movement, though. Under movement, it says Japanese automatic three hands with date. I'm glad they specify what movement in the description. Now, I hope that they did that from listening to me, and I hope that they carry on with that on any new watch they release. Put the movement. Even if it's not a movement that you're particular like, hey, you know, this isn't a Seiko any series. <clears throat> Put the movement. People are going to appreciate that. You're being upfront. You're being honest with the big check boxes. All right, so what else you get? Stainless steel case, I believe it's 316, 21 millimeters in case thickness, signed crown, again, kind of your standard stuff. Uh, signed basic black Nubeo logo or rotor on the back of the, branding on the back of the rotor. <clears throat> you have a uh, huge buckle. These, these straps are big, they're bold, they're very noticeable, I dig them. Um, what else, 54 millimeter case diameter. I don't know about that, I think that might be a typo. They say 54 millimeter. I'm not, uh, nope, I think they messed that up. Let's just take a look. Come on, you bail. This one here is, I think it's more like a 50. All right, so it's, they're doing the Invicta thing here. So it's, all right, so I'm just gonna, this is not 100%, but if we go all the way to the crown, see how the, see how the crown and the case kind of jets out? We're going 54. If we measure, the actual bezel, we're looking at about 50-51. So keep that in mind, because when we compare it to a true 54, like this RGMT, you know, I don't want you guys buying this and then being like, oh man, it's not as big. Like, it is a noticeable difference. Uh, not so much on the video, but um, if we just, just look at the bezel measurement, I'll try to line this up, you know, it's, there is a, there is a big difference there. Um, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it that great on the video, but. But anyway, um, just keep that in mind. Still a huge watch, not trying to downplay the size. It's a big watch. It's limited to 500 pieces like most Nubeo watches. They are all limited edition. I believe all, I don't, I don't think they make any that's a standard like um, always available edition. Um, what else? Uh, we do have a sapphire crystal on this. So that's definitely something that, you know, a lot of folks, uh, I yeah, call it again, one of my other check boxes. That's uh, important to some folks. It does have a dome to it, which is pretty cool. I always like the Manta. I think it's just a great looking piece. And that red abalone is killer. 30 ATMs of water resistance. And they put on here, stainless steel bracelet with fold over buckle safety lock. This is a generic description from one of the other Mantas. This one obviously is not on stainless steel and I don't believe this is available on stainless steel. Um, if you haven't checked out my other Manta reviews, I've done several on bracelet. Um, I wish they would have done this one on bracelet. I, I, I would really have liked this on a red bracelet. Now I do have another watch. I don't even know, I don't know if it's a Manta, but I'll have to check, it might be a Manta. I may swap the bracelet if it fits this because I think this one will just be killer on stainless steel. Uh, but again, still very nice. All right, so price on this right now, 720. Um, these are these do go on sale. I think that I think what they do is they try to get these to sell out at a higher price point. I've noticed with New Bayo they do their sales often. I am with you guys. I'm that's awesome. All right, we'll come back to it. I'm with you guys. I just wish they would just pick 
They have 1100 and that's scratched off and it's on sale for 720. Use my Fat Cat collection coupon code in the description. You get 15% off. It usually, sometimes it works on insane sale items and sometimes it doesn't. So as of today, uh, they do have, let me see what this is on sale today. All right, so they do have the New Year's blowout event. It is on sale for 50% off. And again, this is kind of one of these things where it's like, just put the watch at normal price. But hey, the point is, is what are you getting it for today? So 360. Now, let me just see if my coupon code works on this. Because if it does, you better jump on this. Uh, let's see here. It's Fat Cat 15, and I don't, I highly doubt this is going to work on this. No, so Fat Cat 15, I've noticed, does not seem to work when they have their own couponless 50% off code. So it's still 360, you know, that's in line with what you're gonna pay for a lot of different watches out there. Um, you know, of course, if we're comparing watches like this to Invicta, you know, you, Invicta always has crazy, crazy insane deals, but if you notice brands like Aragon, that price is kind of jumping up. Like, it's pretty hard to uh, get one of their newer models for under like that $280, $300 price point. Uh, so this is in line. I, I think this would be even more competitive in that like 285 area, uh, just because you are getting it on silicone. But I will tell you, I'm gonna digress again. I'm actually surprised. I got, I've got this on my wrist, and it it almost feels like a nice warm blanket. <laughs> it's kind of strange. It definitely is comfortable, and uh, it's uh, it's a good looking watch. I mean, there's not really much else I can really try to sell you guys on. It's good, it's nice, it's comfortable, and again, you know, I the comfort thing, they're all comfortable to me, but I don't know, maybe today I'm just, I don't know, I just it just feels very, uh, very soft, it just, if that makes any sense. So, all right, so color combinations here. Um, it is available, and if we just look at this new release, it's available in lots of different variations. I think they have like close to I don't know, 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah, so they, they have, they, this is available in a lot of different color options here and a lot of different variations. But if we're just looking at the new release with this silicone strap, we have three variations. We have the green with the green abalone, red, and then blue. The blue is the only one that has a stainless steel bezel and not a black plated bezel. Um, I think they, you know, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure why they did that. They probably should have kept them all black, but, you know, it's... Uh, it's uh they look great regardless so now as far as my wrist size like i mentioned in every video seven inch wrist about five foot eight hundred seventy i think 75 pounds as of today so this is what it's going to look like on my wrist and you can see i mean it's it's a beast of a watch it's big it's bold it's noticeable and you know with that red um you know some folks i've heard it before too some folks are like oh gold is so loud and flashy I don't know. I mean, I think anytime you you in, you integrate one color into a watch, if it's not stainless or black, it, it becomes flashy. And uh, this is definitely one that's going to get noticed. Very cool watch. Very, um, I don't know, just it, it's, it's a unique piece. Great looking quality. And I hope, I hope, I hope that they... You know, I think if they just were to keep this watch at that $360 price point, sell it for that all day long, and then, you know, throw a Fat Cat 15 on it, still make money. I don't know what their markup is on this stuff. I'm not privy to that information, but um, I know you will find these a lot of times on other sites uh, for less. And I think, you know, we are working on this. RGMT is one of their other brands. It's a perfect example of people going to the site through my videos and not buying. And there's really no reason, just like, you know, they do sell direct to consumer. It's been a great year <clears throat> for New Bayo. They need to bring that, that mentality through all their brands. Sell direct to consumer. It's what Invicta did. It's what Aragon's doing. There's no reason to do it. Give people a, a honest, realistic price, and they will be back for seconds, thirds, fourth, fifth. Because this is a great quality product, and this is a fun product, and anybody who likes Invicta will love these watches. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic New Year's, and take care.